And closer to home, visitors and locals alike filled the gas lamp quarter, some enjoying a nice Thanksgiving meal, others just beginning to arrive for the return of Comic-Con, which kicks off tomorrow. Fox 5's Kasha Gagorchuk is live in the gas lamp for us, where she spoke with some businesses who are gearing up for it all. Kasha. Well, Phil, certainly restaurants and bars down here are used to it being much busier than usual in those days leading up to Comic-Con. But today they say they're just so thankful to be able to serve guests with no capacity limits and enjoy really the first big holiday since the pandemic changed so much for everyone. We open every holiday and uh, the only time we ever close is because of the pandemic. It's Thanksgiving and some businesses in the gas lamp quarter like Greystone Steakhouse are used to being ready to serve every day, 365 days a year. Last year we did a lot of to go's uh, because we have a limited capacity on seating. This year uh, we did to go and dine in and uh, the ratio definitely dropped. People did not do to go. So much has changed in the last year for businesses and guests. People are more comfortable to dine out and be out in large numbers. But coming out of a pandemic has also had its challenges like staffing and food shortages. We started planning for Thanksgiving back in September and to make sure we had our flour for our ravioli. We had our stuffing, we had our turkey. We only uh, try to do the best we can uh, and we're doing, you know, we're doing good actually. Something that could sweeten the holiday for these downtown businesses is the return of Comic-Con for the first time since 2019. We really depend on a convention center and, you know, for the past two years we haven't had much conventions because they were all canceled due to COVID. The three-day special event will have lower attendance this year, but Saltwater and other restaurants are still working to make it a fun experience for attendees with special menus on tap for the weekend. The Comic-Con um, short little three courses menu they're mostly either younger, they don't want to have a kind of a $3,000 check. So with, the, with $39 each person, it's going to be you know, easy, easy to, uh, for them. Now, if you are attending Comic-Con, you will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test, and masks are going to be required indoors at all times, regardless of vaccination status. Reporting from the Gaslamp Quarter, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Kasha.